Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto, your home for the most detailed motorcycle content on the net. Thank you so much for tuning in today and if you're new here, I really hope you'll consider subscribing if you appreciate this kind of content. Now continuing with the theme of reviewing my favorite riding gear, today I'm going to give you my full, honest, in-depth review of the Climb Baja S4 Hot Weather Adventure Riding Suit. Now my standard disclaimer before I go any further, one is that I am not sponsored by Climb. I do get a discount on Climb products because I work in the motorcycle industry, but I'm not sponsored by them or any other riding gear company. Uh, the second thing is that whenever you're shopping for riding gear, whether you want to pick up the suit or any other parts or gear, please use my affiliate links in my video descriptions and comments because it's a way to support the channel and help keep my business going that doesn't cost you anything. So I appreciate you doing that. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's just delve right into the Baja riding suit. So I also have video reviews on my channel that I've just published recently with the Badlands Pro and also the Carlsbad riding suit and a comparison between those. Now the Baja is Climb's warm weather uh, heavy duty adventure riding suit. This is actually the riding suit that I wear most of the time. The reason for that is because one, I live in a relatively mild climate in Southern California, even though I live in the mountains, actually it's 6,000 feet, pretty high elevation. Um, I tend to run on the warmer side as a, as a person, so I'm always a little bit warm instead of being on the cooler side like some people. And I tend to incorporate a lot of off-road riding on my adventure bikes and the slower speeds really necessitate having more ventilation than the Gore-Tex garments can provide. So let's get into the Baja S4 and why it's my most uh, commonly used riding suit that I own. All right, so obviously we have to talk about the ventilation. So this is a full mesh riding suit. And if I spin this around, you can see that there's mesh everywhere. It allows for the air to flow in the front and flow through the suit and exit out the back. Some mesh riding uh, gear that I've used in the past, they might put mesh panels somewhere on the garment, but if it's not well designed, it won't flow through and really provide you that ventilation. So the ventilation on the Baja S4 is really legitimate and it's one of the best ventilated riding suits that I've ever used. Probably is the most well ventilated riding suit I've ever used. So the ventilation works. And if it's, you know, chilly temperatures, if it's below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll put the Celsius here, then the suit's gonna be too cold. But we'll talk about how to kind of deal with that here in a minute. Now, if we look at the ventilation on the pants, you've got ventilation in the top part, but also down in the lower leg. And if I spin the pant around, you can see that the ventilation flows through into the back. So it's a very cool wearing suit. Uh, unlike some of its competitors, which I won't really name. All right, let's break down the Baja S4 suit. So in terms of reference for sizing, I am between 190 to 200 pounds, around 90 kilograms, depending on how my diet's going that, that month. I am five foot, 10 inches tall, 70 inches tall, or about 180 centimeters tall. I have a 32 inch leg inseam. On Climb size chart, or using their fit guide on their website, I am a size large according to Climb. However, I find that I'm really between the medium and the large with the Climb stuff, and I prefer a little bit slimmer fit. This jacket that I'm wearing here is a large, and these pants are a size 36 regular, and I am a 36 jean size or pant size, so it seems to be accurate with that. Now, let's break down sort of some of the features of the suit. As you can see, there's no vents to open because the whole suit is, in fact, a vent. Now, uh, comfort and fit is very good with this, very mobile, very stretchy. Um, it just feels like <laughs> wearing like a glove. It's, it really fits me very, very well. Storage, you have pockets here in the pants. You have storage pockets here. You've got these hand warmer pockets, which I really like to have. You have some internal pockets. You have the pocket here for the ID card, which can also be useful for storing like your, um, your chapstick or ear, ear, uh, earplugs, things like that. You have adjustments here in the uh, forearm, but no adjustments on the biceps and no adjustments in the torso. One complaint I have with Climb that they really should address, they should give us some adjustment features in the torso. And the Badlands does have an adjustment here on the bicep. I don't know why this suit doesn't. Overall, I'd like to see them uh, kind of take a cue from Revit in terms of the, the sizing gussets that you could adjust, which Climb seems to lack on all of their suits. 
Now, combined with that ventilation, one thing they really nailed with the Baja riding suit is the stretch. So you've got stretch areas in, in, the, in the parts of the suit where you need it. So when you're moving around on, the, on your adventure bike or off-road bike, the garment doesn't feel restrictive. It stretches in all the right areas. Now let's talk about abrasion resistance. So for a fully ventilated mesh suit, this suit has amazing abrasion resistance. And I think it's actually a really good value when you, when you look at it because they've incorporated a material called super fabric. This is the same high-end, super high abrasion resistance material that you see on their Badlands Pro jacket. It doesn't even appear on a Carlsbad. So they only have it on the Baja and on the Badlands. And it is an extremely strong material, a, a much bigger upgrade than the uh, Cordura or even the Scholar Dynatech mesh that you see on this suit. So I really like that they incorporated the super fabric in the elbows, the shoulders, and then the pants here at the knees in those high, um, high impact kind of high abrasion areas. So if you're doing a lot of uh, street touring or higher speed riding incorporated with your off-road or adventure riding, this is an incredible solution because unlike dirt bike gear that's just gonna shred if you go sliding on the highway at high speeds, this stuff's gonna hold together. So it allows you to do your off-road riding even on single track or tighter, slower trails and then get on the highway and still have the abrasion protection you need. And I guess that's one of the reasons I seem to always be wearing this suit. Now let's talk about impact protection. Impact protection is an area that I think they could have done a little bit better on the Baja S4. So it comes with a CE level one suite of armor. So, you know, uh, knees, uh, hips, uh, here, it, it comes with a shoulder, elbow, and the back pad, all CE level one. There's a couple things I would like to see different. One, I think they should include CE level two armor in the kit and preferably go to a limb specific CE level two super high-end armor like they use in the Badlands Pro. I think they should be doing that in the suit. The other thing I'd like to see Climb do is incorporate a chest, a pocket for a chest uh, armor in the suit. That's a major, major drawback for me is that this suit does not have a provision to insert chest armor pads. The reason that's important is you have impact protection on your chest. If you ride dirt bikes, if you're familiar with that kind of armor, they all use a chest armor. So it really, uh, it's a bummer that this doesn't have it and I really hope that they consider adding that in the future. So now let me jump on the bike and show you how it is uh, in terms of the sitting and standing on the bike. So let's take a seat here, not tip the bike over here. I'm kind of on a slope. So you can see, again, it doesn't have the weird puffiness in the torso that some of their other products do, especially the Badlands seems to have that. So that's good. Everything fits very comfortable, feels great. Everything seems to be the right length. If standing position, very comfortable, no issues. It feels like it was definitely engineered for standing for off-road adventure riding. All right, I wanna briefly talk about how would you utilize the suit if you get into some varying temperatures. So maybe you're going on a ride where it's gonna be 80 degrees, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, as I often do, but maybe you're gonna see some temperatures maybe in the 50s or 60s Fahrenheit. So what can you do? Well, there's a couple of approaches to this. You can layer over the outside of the garments, or you can layer inside the garments as well. So what I like to do is I bring a rain layer. So I have a, a rain suit, two piece rain suit that I can put over the top of the gear to block that wind, block that rain, make it waterproof. I'm not as good as a Gore-Tex gear, but pretty good and keep the wind from going through the suit. You can also add a thermal layer like a fleece or a puffy jacket or even a heated jacket if you want underneath the, 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 the jacket. Now that would allow you to extend this into cooler temperatures. It's not gonna be as good as a full Gore-Tex or a full winter garment would be in those winter conditions, but it does allow you to extend it a lot. And the good thing about that is when it does get hot or when you are doing slower riding, you can pull that stuff off and you're not gonna be baking, you're not gonna be like a steamed clam or something inside the Gore-Tex suit, which is often the feeling I get when I'm in the Badlands or the Carlsbad. All right, so final thoughts on the Climb Baja S4 suit. As you can tell by now, I'm a huge, huge fan of this riding suit. It's, I use it the most out of any of my gear. It works in a variety of conditions, and it really just keeps me from overheating on, in that warmer weather. It provides good protection enough for high-speed street riding and riding off-road, and that's why I'm always wearing it. I highly, highly endorse this product, and again, I have no affiliation with Climb, and I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm being as unbiased as I can. A couple reminders, if you're gonna shop for this gear or anything else, parts, accessories, please use my links. That really helps the channel and doesn't cost you anything. If you have questions, comments, if I missed anything, put that down below in the comments and I will definitely follow up with you. 
Other than that, please ride safe and I'll see you out there.